Well, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. It is 4.55 a.m. I'm on my way to boot camp. I've got my window down because it's already 73 degrees. So it actually feels really nice outside. There's a tiny bit of a breeze, which is my favorite part about mornings. At least it helps keep it a little bit more cool. But I am actually headed for my first workout of the week. I film these videos on Monday. I get asked that question a lot. I actually film my what I eat in a days for Wednesday on Monday. That allows me time to film, edit, upload, all of that. So it's my first boot camp workout of the week after my little girls weekend. My friend Ray Rachel from San Diego, her friend Kelly, who's also my friend, and then Kelly's daughter Cassie, who's also my friend, came into town this last weekend for Rachel's birthday. And we went to Chandler, Arizona, which is right outside of Phoenix, just for like a little girls weekend. And now I'm ready for a healthy on track week. I'm finishing out my eight week cut this week. It's the last week. I'm really pushing it hard this week to finish out strong. Did make my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it before I headed out the door to go to boot camp. I'll finish that up when I get home and get ready for the day and then we will put together a healthy breakfast. Good morning again, I am home, I am ready for the day. I'm wearing my new little overalls from my Amazon try on haul that I did this last Sunday. So if you missed that video, I'll link it. I bought some really amazing affordable pieces off of Amazon for summer, all of them under $30. Actually my tank top, my overalls and my shoes, I'll show you my shoes, are all from that Amazon haul. So I'll link that video if you missed it. You can find some really good quality clothing on Amazon and I love these overalls. These come in so many colors, but I love orange, so I thought that these would be perfect. I could also wear these with a long sleeve shirt in the fall. Love them. They're like a linen style material. So I am going to make some breakfast because I'm hungry. It is 7.23 a.m. So I'm going to make my egg fold over. I kind of forgot about this and then someone messaged me and asked me how to make it. So I'm making an egg fold over for breakfast. So I'm going to use egg whites. You can also use a full egg, whatever your preference is. You'll need a low carb tortilla and then whatever filling you want to put into your egg fold over. So I'm going to do turkey bacon since I have some already made. And then I have a slice of the ultra thin Sargento provolone cheese. And then yesterday when I did my meal prep, I cut up a bunch of peaches. So I'm going to have some peaches. So let me show you my shoes and then how to make the egg fold over. So these are my shoes. They're these cute little kind of gladiator style sandals. And you can see that they have some glittery rhinestone detailing. They are so comfortable. And I want to say they were 20 ish dollars. So Again, I'll link the video and I'll link my outfit for you. So I sprayed my skillet with some non-stick cooking spray and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of egg whites and then I'm going to put my tortilla down over those egg whites and we're going to allow the egg whites to cook until they're all the way cooked through. I am also going to sprinkle a little bit of the Trader Joe's onion salt on top. That's my very, very favorite. Now, if you make this in a smaller pan, the egg will fit the tortilla perfectly, but once the egg is done, we're going to flip that over. I just usually will fold in the leftover egg, and then into the middle of the tortilla, you're going to put your toppings. So, I have one slice of the ultra-thin provolone cheese. I'm just going to put that in there. And then I have two slices of the turkey bacon, and I just cut that up with my kitchen shears and put that right on top of the cheese. Then you're just going to fold it over. So fold that tortilla right on top. Basically kind of like you're making a quesadilla. So here's my breakfast. I'm telling you this is so good. It's incredibly easy, high in protein, and then you get some good carbs with the tortilla and some fiber. I put about a small peach worth of peaches on my plate since I cut it up. I know how many little sections of each peach that I got. So this is going to be my high protein, healthy carb breakfast. Just finished my breakfast. That was so good. I cannot recommend it enough. And then having a fruit with it just kind of adds a little bit of sweetness to the savory. Absolutely delicious. I am full and I am ready to take my Bellway fiber gummies. You guys have been asking a lot about fiber and I do take my Bellway fiber gummies three days per week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, when I go to boot camp, that is when I take these when I get home. I work out outside year round at boot camp. There's no bathroom. So I don't want to take any fiber supplement prior to working out. So on any day that I'm working out at either boot camp or taking a hike or climbing Tumamoc in Tucson or something where I don't have access to a bathroom prior to my workout, I always take my Bellway fiber gummies 
after. This jar is almost gone because like I said, I take them multiple times per week. These are absolutely incredible. The flavor of these is raspberry lemon. You take three of these gummies and here's what they look like. They look like little raspberry gummies. What I love about Bellway, multiple things. Number one is there's no sugar added. So you're not getting all of that added sugar in the gummies, but they taste incredible. Bellway Super Fiber Gummies are 100% vegan, USDA organic, no added sugar. Three gummies is going to give you four grams of dietary fiber. These are sweetened with stevia, so an all natural sweetener. Like I said, they taste really good. You would never know that there isn't sugar in them and they are extremely effective. They are going to help keep you regular. They're going to help with bloating, discomfort in your belly. They really are absolutely a staple for me. Like I said, my jar's almost gone. I always buy several jars so that I have some in backup because I take them multiple times a week. I cannot recommend Bellway Fiber Gummies enough. I do have a 25% off discount for you. I will link it down below. Grab these. If you are looking for a amazing fiber supplement and you prefer a gummy form without all of the added sugar, and I will tell you this is the most effective way to get in quality fiber. Again, I'll link Bellway down below with 25% off for you. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here in the kitchen before I go into my office to do some work, I do have an appointment this morning, so I'll take you guys with me. But I'm actually going to mix up my One Up Nutrition Pure Rebuild. I have this, this is in the flavor pineapple, million out of 10. Absolutely delicious. This is a creatine supplement. We should all be taking creatine, especially if you work out regularly. It helps with bloating, inflammation, helps your muscles rebuild, helps them grow for you to be stronger, boosts endurance. Absolutely amazing. And I'm going to mix that up in my Hydro Jug cup. I will tell you, I've been loving these. I don't even really use my Stanley anymore. These just keep my water so much colder and they do not spill. So love these. I actually will link Hydro Jug and One Up Nutrition down below for you with a discount. But let's mix up my creatine. And then I, like I said, I've got to get into my office and get some work done before we head out a little bit later this morning. Abra, could I Abra? I'm gonna reach out and grab you. Mr. Clayton, that white bone has been sitting there since daddy left this morning. Do you want mommy to swap you out? Look, oh. Oh, I have a chicken bone. Can I give you this and give Lola the white one? There's a chicken bone for you. I'm gonna sneakily grab that there. Oh, that's a good one, Palmer. And then here, you love these. There you go. Oh, that was a fair swap. You got a chicken bone and she got the white bone. Pumpkin, I love you. Yeah. Who's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy, bud. So I'm going to be heading out the door here in a couple of minutes to run to my appointment. I am going to be having a little bit later lunch today because of my appointment and I'm already a little bit hungry. So I'm going to have a healthy eating all the time and go bar. This is the almond butter granola bar. These are amazing. They have really good ingredients, really good macros. This one is 200 calories. It's going to give me some protein, some healthy fat, some fiber. I find that these actually keep me really, really full. So I'm going to eat this quickly before I head out the door. We are going to go get a coffee on our way to my appointment, but this will tide me over until I can get home for some lunch. I do have a 12% discount code for healthy eating all the time and go bars. I'll link it down below for you. I'm on my way to my appointment. I am actually going to meet with a CPA. I am going to be hiring a CPA this year to do my taxes. Now that my taxes are a little bit more complicated because Troy will be having an income from social security and his pension, I figured hiring a CPA would be a really smart move on my part. And Troy and I met with a financial advisor. That was one of my goals for 2024 was to meet with a financial advisor. Well, Troy and I did that. And and the financial advisor recommended that when I meet with the CPA that we discuss opening up a self-employment retirement fund, which basically means that I can put some money into that at the end of the year, which lowers the amount of taxes that I have to pay the IRS. And then also Troy and I are trying to stay in a certain tax bracket to avoid going into the next tax bracket and paying more taxes. So it's just a lot of financial things 
that are changing a little bit for us the rest of this year. And it just makes sense for me to invest in hiring a CPA. Typically I do my taxes myself on TurboTax, but it's time. It's time to hire a CPA and actually have someone professional, not only help me with the retirement fund, help us with financial planning, but also make it so I pay less to the government and write off as much as possible. So I'm meeting with her this morning. I had to bring my 2023 taxes so she could look those over and kind of know where I'm at in my taxes and kind of look at what my write-offs are versus my income. So on the way to meet with her, I brought one of my Jocko shakes. This is the vanilla. I buy these on Amazon. I really like these. There's 30 grams of protein, grass fed whey, no added sugar. They're really, really good. Again, this is the vanilla. I actually have the chocolate and the coffee. They're all amazing. So I'm going to, so I ordered four shots of espresso in a venti cup at Starbucks. We will add in my shake to that. And like I said, that'll tide me over until I can get home for lunch since I am going to be having a little bit later lunch today. Oh my gosh. While we're in the car, I have another insane update on my old fitness coach, Brenda. You guys are not gonna believe this. So I get four shots of espresso over ice with extra ice. I can't fit my whole shake in here, so I'll just add a little bit, drink a little bit down, and then add the rest of my shake. But it tastes just like a creamy, yummy vanilla latte, especially with those Jocko shakes. Cheers. So good. It literally tastes like a vanilla latte. It's amazing, and 30 grams of protein. Okay, I'm at the CPA office. I have about 10 minutes. I have a very interesting, rather disturbing update on my old coach, Brenda. I have now encountered another person. So that makes three of us total that I'm aware of. And there's probably many, many more out there, potentially hundreds more people out there that has been completely screwed over by Brenda. So her name is Carrie and she actually had commented on one of my videos and asked what Brenda's last name was because she says, oh my gosh, I was using a coach named Brenda who was terrible. What is the Brenda's, what is your coach Brenda's last name? So I told her it was Garcia and come to find out, Carrie had Brenda as a coach as well. And not only did Brenda not give Carrie the services that she promised, she actually charged Carrie for a whole nother batch of services after Carrie had expressed to her how disappointed and unhappy she was with the services provided. So what ended up happening was I commented on her comment, gave her my email, and then we've been communicating via email. She, like Nicole, is going to file a dispute with her credit card. And then I gave her all the information on how to file a complaint with the Attorney General of Texas. So I'm going to read to you the email that Carrie sent me. And she kind of, she went into detail of everything that had happened with Brenda. And then she said that Brenda has changed her Instagram profile name again. So she keeps changing her IG, her Facebook. She's changing everything because I'm sure she's being inundated with people saying, hey, you are screwing people over. What are you doing? I was trying to find some details. I see she's no longer on Instagram under roofs and quads. I signed up last July for $650 for six months and I canceled after the first three weeks because she would never respond to me. I was very clear with her that I didn't think her plan was going to work for me. Her diet and exercise recommendations didn't make sense. She contradicted herself and I couldn't get a straight answer when I tried to clarify. It was like she haphazardly copy and pasted parts of someone else's plan and it made zero sense. I sent her a video of all the equipment I had so she could use them when she developed my workout plan, but she didn't even consider that. It was like a 10 year old put it together. The same exact exercise listed twice, just using two different names. The meal plan was another disaster. I wasn't able to access the app anymore to get details and my communication through Instagram is no longer available either. Then in December, she charged me $650 again. I got in contact with her and she said she couldn't do anything about it. I just cut my losses and I thought it was just me. The whole thing is so incredibly sketchy. I cannot believe that I have found another person who has went through the same thing with Brenda as I have. It just absolutely blows my mind. I already filed my complaint with the Attorney General of Texas. I have not heard anything since I got the original email saying they received my complaint. I believe Nicole is filing a complaint and now Carrie. So I need to reach back out to the Attorney General of Texas and see where we kind of go from here because she continues to do this to people. She continues to steal 
steal their money and not give them the services that they're paying for. She continues to defraud people. Something needs to happen. And I don't know what else to do other than file that claim with the attorney general of Texas. I don't really know anything else about her. I don't live in Texas. So it's not like I can take her to small claims court. It's so interesting that people keep coming out of the woodwork about her. So like I said, there's probably hundreds of other people out there that I'm not aware of that have had the same situation. And that's, it's scary. So be really mindful of who you work with, especially online. I will personally never, ever have an online coach again. I love Trainwell, which is formerly Copilot. I love my coach through Trainwell. I have no reason to go with another online coach, but it is really scary out there. I'm so glad that you guys know me here on YouTube and trust me, I have never had an issue with services. It is just blows my mind that I continue to find people. So as people come out of the woodwork more, I'll keep you guys updated. And then again, I, I will also keep you updated on what happens with the attorney general. Can you believe that there's three of us, three of us that I know of? It continues to be just insane with this woman. One hour later. So I just left the CPA office. It went really well. She was so incredibly nice, super knowledgeable. I'm actually really grateful I met with her. It's going to make doing my taxes a lot easier and getting the maximum right off. So we talked about a lot. It's been about an hour. I was there about an hour and I finished my protein coffee and I'm now getting hungry. So let's head home and have some lunch. I am back from my appointment and I am hungry. I knew that that healthy eating bar would tide me over along with the protein coffee. But I am definitely ready for some lunch. So I'm actually going to have my sweet potato hash that I made in my meal prep. This is so healthy, packed with protein, vegetables, sweet potatoes for healthy carbs and fiber. Extremely delicious, extremely, extremely filling. A serving is one quarter of this container. So it is a lot. I cannot wait to have it. And then I have some cherries that I grabbed in my grocery haul this last week. And I'm going to have just a handful, maybe eight or 10 of these cherries. They're so juicy and delicious. I love summer because fruit is always in season in the summer and that makes me really, really happy. So let me put together my lunch and I'll show you what I'm having. I'll show you exactly what I'm having. So here's my lunch. Look at how amazing that sweet potato hash is. That is so much food for so little calories, packed with protein. And then I just counted out 10 cherries. That'll give me a little bit of a sweet treat after lunch. Palmer, it's just mommy. Daddy's not home, buddy. Come here. It's just mommy. Daddy won't be home for a little bit. Come get your treat though. Every time I come home, he races to the garage door and thinks his dad's here. But you're happy to see me. Yes, you're happy to see mama. It's afternoon snack time and I'm going to make a yogurt bowl. I actually made this exact yogurt bowl last night for dessert and the combination fire. Absolutely delicious. So I have the light and fit yogurt and toasted marshmallow. This is so good. These are the little ones I got on discount. This is my last one. If I am going to buy light and fit yogurt, it's going to be toasted marshmallow. It's my all time favorite. So I'm going to do one toasted marshmallow light and fit yogurt. And then back into those peaches we had for breakfast, I'm going to put about a half of a peach worth of peaches on the yogurt. Then I'm going to do a third of a cup of Catalina Crunch cinnamon toast. You have to use the cinnamon toast because the cinnamon with the marshmallow yogurt and the peaches, I don't know what it is about this combination, but it is so good. It's sweet. And then you've got the cinnamon kind of, I guess, spiciness. It's absolutely amazing. Love this combination together. And then I usually put a couple little dollops of whipped cream. Love, love, love. I do have a discount code for Catalina Crunch. I'll link it for you. You can also buy Catalina Crunch on Nutrition. So if you're placing an order for Fiber Gourmet Pasta or any of those fun Nutrition snacks, they typically carry Catalina Crunch and I have a discount for them. So I'll put everything down below depending on where you want to pick up your Catalina Crunch, but let's make a yogurt bowl. For dinner tonight, I am making pizza burger sandwiches, except I'm going to make mine into a bowl, but you would put this on a bun. So I'll show you, I'll put Troy's on a bun and show you how it's all put together. But let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need salt and pepper, light mozzarella cheese. You can do any pizza topping. So I'm going to add some mushrooms. I wish I would have got a bell pepper to add like a green bell pepper, but any of your favorite pizza toppings can be added. And then I have some pizza sauce, turkey pepperoni, and some ground beef. 
So the first thing we're going to do is cook down our ground beef. You want it fully cooked through. I'm also going to season my ground beef with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm going to add in my mushrooms and allow those to saute down until softened. You would also add in any of your other toppings that needed cooked, like if you were adding bell peppers or onions. And then I'm going to add in two servings of turkey pepperoni. So whatever turkey pepperoni you're using, two servings. Every brand is different for the amount. Typically, it's between 15 and about 18 slices. Stir that up with that pepperoni warm through. And then we're going to add in the jar of pizza sauce. Mix it through and allow that to warm. So here is what the mixture looks like. It makes eight servings total. So I'm going to go ahead and plate up my one serving. We top it with some fresh mozzarella, with some shredded mozzarella. I'll make up Troy's sandwich, his pizza burger, so you can see both ways, whether you want to use a bun or not use a bun. So here's my dinner, and this is just packed full of protein. And then here is what it would look like if you made a burger out of it. So I just topped a bun with some of the mixture and some cheese for Troy. And then again, I made mine into a pizza bowl. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. I decided that I'm actually going to use one of these little pre-portioned bags of the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. And I'm just going to dip this in, make this kind of like a, a dip, like a pizza dip. I do need the calories and the carbohydrates today. So this is 120 calories, pre-portioned out, ready to go. Nice clean ingredients. So we're gonna make mine into a pizza bowl slash pizza dip. So I am about to wash my face, put my pajamas on. I'm going to watch some Naked and Afraid with Lola. I have been majorly into Naked and Afraid. I'm watching all of the old episodes on demand. For some reason, I watched one episode and I'm hooked. Like I've been loving my Naked and Afraid. I also am watching the current Naked and Afraid XL and that is so good. They actually have to spend 40 days Naked and Afraid and it is so good. There's so many twists and turns, love. So I'm gonna watch that and for dessert tonight, I'm keeping it simple. I really want a Clio bar. These are the zero sugar Greek yogurt bars in vanilla. They look like this. They're 100 calories, 7 grams of protein. It's basically like cheesecake coated with chocolate. They're absolutely incredible. Satisfies the sweet tooth. Will be perfect while I enjoy Naked and Afraid with Lola. blanket that was nicely folded and little Miss Lola Clayton dug a nest. So she is ready for bed. I am also ready for bed. So that's going to round out today's what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing all the good food that I ate, finishing out the final week of my eight week cut. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell on because I'll be doing a complete update on Friday, pictures, measurements, weight loss, everything of my eight week cut. So subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss it. And don't forget to check out the description box down below. I will link Bellway and everything else I shared with you in today's video. You'll also find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those macros and calories. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Discounts to all of my favorite things and come join our free, free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Goodbye friends. Say bye guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.